Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Technical Portal YouTube channel on a new video of Microsoft Excel miscellaneous series and today in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to extract and separate date and time from a date and time value. You may ask that why do we need to extract or separate time or date from a date and time value. We can easily do it by going to the formatting option from here and if we just use the short date the time is actually gone. But it's not like that. Even if you have formatted it to separate date or time, the value is still remains the same as before. It actually didn't separated or extracted only the date or only the time. Look at here, the value is actually remaining the same. But if you extract and separate date and time, the value will not remain the same the decimal places will automatically replaced with the extracted value. So without further ado, let's begin and watch my steps carefully and I'm going to describe each and every argument I'm going to use into these functions, right? Excel handles dates and time using a scheme in which dates are serial numbers and times are fractional values like you can notice here I have the date and time value here and the number format of these value are actually 43956 and in a fractional value Excel actually represented the number as this one you can notice the 43956 this value represents the value of the date and the decimal value as the 58 represents the value of the time. Now the main function of today's formula we need to extract the date or the time from a date and time value like this. If you have dates with time values and you want to extract only the date portion we can use the formula that uses int function. If you want the date value only just simply use the int function like I am doing. Look at here carefully where the value actually appears. You will notice the difference from this value and this value equals to int function that rounds a number down to the nearest integer. Select this cell where your date and time is actually indexed. Close the parentheses and hit the enter button. Look at here the differences between these two values. Here we have the decimal places but here we don't but the first portion is actually remains the same. That means the date is actually extracted from the date and time value. Now if you drag the formula from upside down and copy it, you will notice the differences from the first value to the extracted value. Now here you can also use the truncatenate function like this equals to trunc. This truncates a number to an integer by removing the decimal or fractional part of the number, right? Use the tab button to autofill it. Now here we need the reference. Close the parentheses and hit the enter button. Look at here, you will get the results according to your requirement. What if you need only the time value from a database? Look at here, in this sheet, we want only the time value extracted from a date and time value. Now, here we need to use the mode function equals to mode that returns the reminder after a number is divided by a divisor. Now, hit the tab button here, it is asking for the number. We need to provide the cell reference here. Insert a comma, now here as the divisor, we need to provide number 1. Close the parenthesis, hit the enter button. Look at here, the differences from this value and this value. The fractional part or you can say the decimal part is now only extracted. Now if you copy the formula from upside down, it will automatically show you the results according to an extracted form of the date and time. Now here, we got only the time from a date and time value. Now let me show you how this formula actually works. At first, let me move into the int function that is equals to 
int then the cell reference number close the parenthesis and hit the enter button so here the time portion of the value that is the fractional part is discarded you need to note two points here with either method above that I have showed as int function and trunk function make sure you are using a date format on the result that does not include a time like I have used here that you can notice I only have the date format you can go to the more number format here and notice that I have formatted it like this one click on ok otherwise you will see the time displayed as 12 am second point is for dates and time which must be positive in excel there is no difference in using int and trunk function to extract an integer but int function i have used here actually rounds number down to the nearest integer which makes a difference when values are negative if you didn't watch my trunk formula described video before you can check the description box or check the i button here where you can get the link of that video where i have described the trunk function briefly now let's move on to the time value here where i have used the mode function and let's see how this function actually works the mode function returns the reminder from a division the first argument is the number and the second argument is the divisor if you use mode with a divisor of one as we have used here the result will be the decimal part of the number if any because every whole number can be evenly divided by itself in short equals to mode number one returns just the fractional part of a number discarding the integer portion so it's a convenient way to extract time from a date note carefully if you use this formula to strip the time from a date plus time you will need to apply a suitable number format to display as time as I have used the time format here you can notice as more number format I have used this format right so that's all for today friends hopefully you like this video please don't forget to share your opinions as well as your queries into the comment section I'll come back soon with another interesting video till then keep learning keep supporting this channel and keep practicing